How's it, guys? And welcome back to the official Rugby Room Studio. You, you just said you're not going to say official Rugby Room Studio. No, we're not going to say we're officially started. sponsored because the World Cup's over now. But it is still the official Rugby Room Studio. So yeah, it is. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. So, it's PJ, great. take it away. Um, Tell okay. the viewers what we have lined up. Team of the Tournament, Rugby World Cup 2019. We've been having a little bit of a back and forth trying to put together the 15, starting 15 of the tournament. Um, let's just get straight into it. Um, so yeah, number one. Beast. There's no question about it. No question. He, you know, maybe Rusty went for the whole impact, but he earned his number one spot. He scrummed the crap out of everyone, including the English. Number Absolute two. Legend. Let's walk, let's move on from there. Uh, number two, uh, this one may be a little bit Odd, but I'm going for uh, Shotohori. Now, it I think, may seem think, odd because some of you might not recognize who that is, but he's a Japanese hooker. Yeah. The think, dreads. got the dreads, yeah. I don't think any hooker, well, we don't think any hooker stood head and shoulders above the others, but I think he was uh, great for his team and uh, I think he made you know massive contributions. Yeah, yeah. He did his job, he was clean, he's, he's done. And a great he's impact. Done. Yeah, good impact. Number three, um, it may be a little bit contentious, controversial. Uh, we've gone for Sinclair from uh, the English. The guy that was looking like this, he was dabbing on the field. Oh, shame, eh? it yeah, fun. it's tough. Um, and that's maybe why the beast beasted them because they had their number one scrummager off the field. Yeah, you know, the true. tight head actually proved that these positions count to the rugby field. Not, not contentious. Uh, he, I think he deserved that number three spot. Sinclair was good the whole tournament. It was a shame he wasn't in the finals. So but isn't he, it crazy he, the scrum in terms of the rugby match? Yeah. yeah. Number four? Match. Number four, Mauro Torje. Um, he was immense the whole tournament. I mean, if, if you're picking a squad and you want to put players in there and you're looking at that number four jersey and you're not picking Mauro Torje, something's wrong with you. So, I mean, he's got that locked down. He's, he's, he's brilliant. So number five. So number five was a difficult one. You know, we, we, we had a look at a few candidates. We had, uh, you know, Sam Whitelock. Mm. We had Alan Wynne jones What he was. Uh, Alan Wynne jones legend, but on performance in the tournament. You don't think so? We're not going to pick him just because he's old. And he's so Llewellyn, Sherwin, and uh, PJ got the better of me on this yeah. one. So we didn't quite go there. Then we thought Franco Mostert, his contributions off the bench were great. He has been the number five starter for the last four seasons. Uh, but we decided to settle on Lewitt. Uh, I think he was, he was fantastic. Yes, he only played 25 minutes in the final, but I think he did a lot, especially in the lineouts. Uh, he won a lot of ball, but so did Franco. So I think it was really close between the two of them. It's close, but I think Lewitt just edges it. So yeah. I mean, he's got that one locked down. Um, number six. I'm going with uh, putting Sevilla on the blind side there. Oh, Audi Brew, hey. Good World Cup, baby. Oh, good World Cup, baby. Oh, good World Cup, baby. Even bro. when the chips were down, you know, I got the ball and I still managed to bounce one of the English players. Oh, just did this for the boys, eh? Just, just for the boys. For the boys. Hey. You know, you don't always end the World Cup on a high, but uh, sometimes, you know, you got to take the rub of the green and you don't always get the biggest side of the biscuit. This is actually really good, eh? You've been practicing that one properly, eh? Staying in front of the mirror, cheese. But Sevilla locks it down. He's brilliant. Brilliant. Sevilla number six. Yeah, he's so consistent for the you know for the Hurricanes and everything. So consistent. And even when they had Jerome Kano and Sam Kane when he was vying for the open side place, he's just he's never gone away. And no. I love that about Sevilla. And and he's he's leg drive, but he doesn't just have a leg drive, he's got a torso and a head drive and an arm drive. Like he's fighting for every single centimeter on the rugby pitch. And I, you know, I don't he's think brilliant. I don't think he's more talented than his brother, uh, the winger. But I just think his work ethic is second yeah. to none. No, he's an animal. Number seven, uh, I think uh, Andy Hill from England. He was brilliant. Uh, what? And the winner, the World Rugby Men's 15th Player of the Year, 2019, is. Peter Steph Dutoy. We had Peter Steph down. Now you're changing your tone, putting Underhill there. There's no chance Underhill was better than Peter Steph. He won the flipping the the, the play of the play of the year. I hope you play of the year. Peter Steph Dutoy, the guy who's been handing oh, out post-traumatic stress disorder, the syndrome to people, PTSD all over the place. Come on, shame on you, man. What? Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. Take it back. <laughs> Where did we do that pause? I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Peter Steph no. was brilliant no. and he was all over the park. But, you know, Underhill was good too, man. Underhill was good, but 
you you're honestly telling me you're gonna pick Underhill above Peter Stepp the toy? I mean, we need to look at the stats. He, he, but he, let's move on to number. Let's move on to number eight. No, no, there's no contest there. Number eight. No one other than Thor himself, Dwayne from Mueller. Dwayne from Mueller. Um, come on, absolute animal. And he also set the tone after we won a couple of scrum penalties. In the first five minutes, he got over the ball, yeah. bam, steal. John, John Mitchell spoke about it after the final. He said that when they were warming up, he went over and he wanted to greet um, Dwayne from Mueller and Evan Etzebet. And he says they looked at them, he, he looked at them, he greeted them, and they just looked at him with a grin. And he was like, John Mitchell knew it's on. These boys are coming with, with fire, with physicality. Beautiful. Number nine, the greatest man to ever wear budgie smuggler. None other than Faf de Klerk meeting the prince in all his might. There's nothing more South African and more beautiful than that. He was probably like, hey, who's Harry? Who's, 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 who's Harry? <laughs> Risa hey, Harry. Hey, how's it, Harry? Like, yeah. Perfect. You love it. That's Faf. That's who you need. Beautiful man. And hey. you know what? He got criticized for his kicks and all of that, but the, no, it's the, part the, of the, game. the guy was such dog fight. Uh, he was all over everyone. I mean, guys were saying Kubis Reynach, yes, he's a good player, but there's no Fuff. I would rather, yeah, like we said in the previous video, but I would rather have Fuff kicking nine out of 10 kicks horrendously and still have him on the park. But he didn't, he got it the other way. Exactly, and the final he was perfect, beautiful. Number 10. Uh, Owen, oh, Hendre Pollard. Oh, so it was. Mean Owen, oh, again, with a really bad pick there. There's no way is he picking um, Owen Farrell over Hendre Pollard. He was amazing. He did his job, he was a perfect 10. He put the points down, he took the ball up when he needed to, he put guys in space, he was yeah, perfect. Know, he also set the tone for trying it well, so. Exactly. Uh, and he was he was really good. Uh, won two missed kicks in the final, uh, but other than that, I couldn't really fault him. Yeah. I think it was really close, but you gotta give it to Hollow. We, we did win the World Cup, yeah. as you guys might know. Inside center, let's get to wings. Well, that's on the, other. on the, um, so the inside center, what's on you then? Um, it's got to be Delindy. Everyone is, I mean, for months people have been talking shit about Delindy. South Africans lost you know, faith in him and he just came back to the World Colby Cup. Colby could be the player of the World Cup, but he said, this guy could be the player of the World Cup. You know, and he had a, he had a stormless season where he was highly criticized, by myself yeah. included. Yeah. And he just went beyond levels and he really surpassed, I think, uh, anyone else's expectation. Yeah. And it, maybe he's I mean, his own, he was brilliant. He had an amazing World Cup, did his job was impactful. There's no other 12 in the World Cup that you can say was more impactful than Delindy. No, uh, no. He was, he was- You can't play Pollard and Farrell because Delindy was better than number three in my opinion. 100%. 13? 13 Thir was a tough one. 13 for me, again, you know, Gareth Davies, I mean, Jonathan Davies, <laughs> not the best World Cup that I was hoping out of him. I really, I really enjoyed the player, Lucanio Am. Lucanio Am, Am with no the look no pass look. in the final. No look pass. Perfect. You know, he was good. I don't think he stood out though in every match. Uh, yeah. If you look at the All Blacks, you know, you, you had um, Good Who, and his mullet was more uh, spectacular yeah. than his gameplay. <laughs> I think for me, uh, who really stood out and really carried his team at times was Virimi Fakutawa. Yeah. From the French, Virginian born playing for the French. I mean, if, you just yeah. have to go back and watch the highlights against the Wales game, against the Welsh to see how he really contributed yeah. and really how immense he was. Yeah. And if it wasn't for Vaya Mahina's red card, I mean, yeah. he would have given, I think, us maybe some problems in the, in the semi. Yeah, true, true. If you're looking at all the 13s in the tournament and the form, Vakitawa was was the standout 13 there. Wings, 11, let's go back to 11. What are you going for? Uh, 11, we're going for Kotoro Matsushima. Matsushima. Oh, I man. love this guy, man. What a legend. Wind. Beautiful, I mean, he- So was... much game. You know, and not just as a try scorer. I mean, yes, he scored a lot, but great under the hard ball, great yeah. all-round ball player, yeah. great carrier, just taking it up. Great as well. defender, great step. Yeah. You know, an, an all-round yeah. rugby winger. Imagine having Matsushima and our next pick, Colby, on the same side. I mean, dangerous, dangerous. Colby, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. In my opinion, player of the tournament. Even though he missed the semi-final, he missed the semi-final because of his strategic no, Anthony call. Watson? No, 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 definitely not. You, I'm picking Colby any day over Watson. Watson is, is brilliant, it, it was a close call, but still, if you're looking at form and impact in this World Cup, it's definitely Colby. With that try in the final, burning Farrell on the inside, taking his soul. Take there's, no one, there's no one better than uh, Ches and Colby in that spot there. And then on full back, ended with Billy LaRue. <laughs> <laughs> Billy! No. You see Billy, man. Yeah, man, Billy. Uh, no, no, it's, uh, I think uh, the, the true All Black that deserves to make this team 
and was maybe unlucky not to play in his preferred position was uh, Bowden Barrett. Yeah, sure. But even at fullback, he was immense against us. He, yeah. he, you know, he set up the trial where he scored it, I can't remember. Um, you then had him against the Irish taking souls, as you like to say it. Yeah. Uh, Against the English, he was the only real threat on the field. Him and Oddie, eh, bro? The hey, two of them, eh? Trying their best. Hey, Bodie, just coming a bit short there. Yeah. So, Paul, eh? Hey, bro. <laughs> no, he, no, he was good, eh? So, Bowden yeah, Barrett I mean, you sure. I, I think, think Bowden Barrett was the standout fullback for me. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's our that's top it, 15. That's it. Imagine this side, you feel a side like this. I mean, dangerous. I still think, dangerous. Yeah. I still but, think the box, all be, uh, the box uh, beating beats them, but. That synergy in Kiers. <laughs> but from what we yeah. saw in the stand up uh, scenario. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So thank you guys. Thanks for uh, hopefully being entertained by our top 15. Uh, if you disagree with us, if you think maybe we missed out somewhere, let us know. Give us your feedback. We would love to know what you think. Uh, yeah. If you think we got it wrong, tell us. We're not, we're not shy, we humans. We're not experts. We're, we're not experts. We're two idiots sitting on a couch talking about rugby. You know, rugby we're an official scarf sponsor that's no yeah. longer sponsored. Uh, so let us yeah. know and um, leave your feedback down there in the comment selection. Cheers, bro.